Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, it's worth watching the Bitcoin chart now. Um, Bitcoin is selling off as per my previous update. Um, we saw already a five wave decline here intraday. That was uh, an early signal. I think when the price came down to around about 63.5K that we will likely see further downside. And it doesn't really seem as if the market wants to form a nice and clean five wave move down. So we'll see how that develops, but we had a tiny five wave move down, which made me post earlier today on Twitter that we're likely going to see further downside initially into the region between 60,140 and 57,500, possibly even a bit lower. We'll see where it takes us, but um, it seems less and less probable that this fourth wave has bottomed already. So as I mentioned in the last video, we need to be very much flexible here and as soon as we see certain micro patterns confirm or invalidate one direction, I will let you know. And uh, yeah, I did that actually. If anybody, um, if any of you are following us on on Twitter X Network, then you got that message. Um, Gold members as well. We post some of these updates on Twitter. So if you don't follow us there yet, feel free to do so. Uh, make sure that you use the correct <laughs> link in the description, or you just use the the correct handle here because there are impersonators but three hours ago i did post price was at the time yeah 63,650. um it looks as if the price has formed five waves down intraday this suggests that wave c of y is unfolding but this view requires that the price stays below the intraday high to remain valid it is possible that this C wave ends early, maybe in the region between 57,504 and 60,140. And if anything changes, I will let you know, but my, nothing has changed. So the market did come down accordingly. And it is so important in these corrections to be on the, really much on the on the pulse of the, of the chart so that we always uh, are just checking the micro you know obviously a lot of people don't really care about the micro because you know you want to buy for the larger rally the larger swings but if anybody's looking for a let's say ideal entry point or wants to know where the direction is currently going what are the odds for example that the wave 4 has already bottomed by the way they are slim <laughs> they are slim especially due to the five wave move down i could actually change that now in this in this video here just swap them around i don't care so much about the terminology alternative or primary uh, i did mention that um, we're likely coming down because alternative primary it always makes people think okay the alternative is not so important well that's it couldn't be further from it couldn't be further from the truth right the alternative is one of the scenarios on the chart that needs to be considered in a trading plan of course okay they are both likely you know, what people sometimes forget is that the market could literally do anything all i share you is from the infinity of possibilities two scenarios but it seems like the pathway to the downside is unfolding and i've got this code open somewhere that's annoying um there you go just think i found it okay um the reason i did say it might be a short c wave is because i cannot rule out that um, this is a one, two, three, four, five. I decided to go with a W, X, Y, and then this is an A, B, C. The reason why I say it could also be a one, two, three, four, five to the downside is because this was quite a short B wave. Very much acceptable though. A little bit too strong for a fourth wave, maybe a little bit too shallow for a reliable B wave. So. I don't really care if we labeled it B or, or wave 4. Bottom line is this was a three-wave rally, as I said earlier. The move down is five waves, but the move down, this could be the last wave down before we see a more substantial recovery. Now, today, it's possible that the SPX has topped, put in a multi-wave, well, multi, no, put in possibly a, a major top on multiple degrees and time frames. Um, we covered the SPX in our stocks and shares service, which if you're interested, you can check out. It's linked in the description. But I just want to mention that because sometimes they correlate. Okay, 
not always, but it's just something that means there could be a greater shift in the stock market. I'm not sure if it's going to drag Bitcoin down with it. I'm not a fan of following correlations. And to be honest, if you, if you use a correlation coefficient and compare these two charts, no, they don't always correlate. Okay, so you can't really use the SPX to relate price action to Bitcoin. But I, I thought I mentioned it because these two, they, I mean, you know, SPX is basically a sentiment, um, yeah, a mirror of the sentiment in the in the US market. So it's just, it could be relevant for crypto as well. Uh, it, it's just something to at least, pre you know, maybe prepare for or at least um, take a look at the charts, right? <laughs> just consider just consider the aspects if you have involvement in the stocks, but also obviously there could be a greater shift. I don't want to be the person that didn't mention it here on the channel and that, I, I don't know, something breaks loose there and everything crashes down and people say, why didn't you say anything? So yeah, I mean, I do analyze it on a daily basis, but it's part of the stock service. But um, it is still important to know, even if you're not so interested in the SPX, that there might be a greater trend change on the horizon. Well, actually, it might have happened already, but then it's a bit too early to fully commit to that. But it could lead to a more substantial decline over the coming months, actually, and possibly even years. And it will be interesting to see how crypto reacts to that. But that's not the topic so much of this video. It's just a bit of a strange day because, yeah, I mean, there's stuff going on in the world, which isn't great. And then obviously um, a possible major top in the indices so yeah and bitcoin is also in this annoying wave 4 correction so let's see if the wave 4 forms a low I, I mentioned to you the support region we need to take out obviously here the last swing low at 61,530 to confirm further that we're heading down but it looks really as if we're coming down and i am watching for another low late today early tomorrow let's see if the market complies and follows if not, if it turns up to the upside here, then my perspective would be that this is just an extended B. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.